Armin teaches meditation. Tape 1. Sometimes, throughout the times, many times, we come to realize we have thought a lot more than we can solve. At this point, the brain and your soul needs absolute silence. When you don't have the sufficient strength to carry on new thought processes, then whatever you are trying to distangle or create and tangle, it will not be fully energized. It will not be fully passionate, fiercely burning. You will create something called half-hearted. After many struggles, one needs rest. And in your sleep state, your brain is still functioning. Which is why you have dreams, vivid pictures, imaginations, or looks just like the awakened state. So your brain is actually thinking when you sleep too. That's why for the soul it's very important to find a place in the universe to find some rest where you can accomplish what your soul has set as its mission, as its direction. You need to find a resting place between all the different lifetimes, between all the struggles and the successes that you have had in your past will now need a place of silence, calm and place of serenity, which is at this state of this earth, set aside all the wars and all the conflicts and all the mishard misships and those who don't have who have it hard to get what they want for a moment. I'm not telling you to forget that. I'm not telling you to forget your goals, your mission, your dreams, your compassion for all the others. Some of us cannot move unless we all move. Some of us cannot sleep if we all cannot sleep. Some of us cannot barely eat if we all cannot eat. We are not satisfied until all are satisfied. When the balance stick is centered. One can have absolute peace. <laughs> then you don't need to meditate. Maybe you don't need to meditate anymore. But still, because you will go on. It's not the end of the world. By making everyone rich and content, having everything they need to have their life as they want it, to do what they want in their planet in their world, with their f- time, with their fun, and however they want it. But until then, even then, you still don't need meditation. Gathering strength for new ventures. Unless you go slow, you typical have fun, just Repeat what you hear sometimes, and sometimes make up a joke. You won't need meditation, because you're going at a slow pace in life, which is also very good. I admire those who can have the simple way of life. But some will have to be more advanced and spend more time and their energy to create something that the 
latter group which I just mentioned can be entertained. So you will need meditation. What we do then is allow ourselves to not think. Block out any thought incoming at any moment for a set time. Just breathe. Fixate yourself on this only. And when we meditate, we do not breathe in a normal pace of three seconds in and three seconds out. We slow it down. We slow it down until you feel your whole stomach from the lower part slowly, just like drops of water from the train when it's not fully closed. Filling up, filling slowly up. At first, when I did this, I was thinking, oh my god, I'm going to die. Uh oh, I'm not breathing enough. <laughs> but it's just like holding your breath. You can hold your breath for many minutes or many seconds. I'm not holding my breath, I'm just breathing very slow. 30 seconds in, sometimes more, sometimes less. Sometimes we carry, we forget to meditate, we carry a lot of weight, extra weight, in our lower part of our stomachs. And then we only breathe in the upper parts. Some people need reminders, because it's easy to forget, depending on your circumstances. So when you breathe it all out, at first, I didn't know <laughs> I had that much more to breathe out. I said, this is it. No, but I kept on breathing out. I said, this is it. No, still had more. Still had more. I still had more. Still, still, still. Slowly, slowly start to just breathe it. It's so. Be one with everything, without having the need to control everything. That is the meditative state. You do admonish yourself and admonish that all around you just can do it without you for a few minutes, for an hour. I don't want you to stop thinking, because we are here to think. What I want you to do is tell yourself, I've been thinking for a long time. And right now, I just need an hour, please. If I may, if I deserve, or if I don't deserve. Because those who deserve, they usually have done a lot of things. They feel they can get a break. And those who have come there have meditated a lot. Maybe have had the chill spot moments in their life to fill up with a lot of energy before they burst it out. Don't have a single thought in your mind. No desires, no wantings. There's no need for me right now, because me needs me right now. 
self-therapy. Your brain is like a muscle and needs to rest before it grows. And it cannot rest as long as you keep using it and using it and using it. Throughout the day, 90,000 different thoughts, some less, some more. And most of them are not even yours. They belong to someone else in the society. So do not let your brain think for you. Think for your brain until you reach that state where your brain belongs to you then you can let your brain think for you every time we go deep beneath the waters to dive sometimes I wish none of you forget that we need to come up when you have excess thoughts I have done it myself you know so I know that's why I'm telling you that I forgot to breathe I was thinking so much that I forgot to breathe grind yourself don't overdo even though you feel it some some sometimes that everything is falling apart and nobody's doing nothing so you need to do put in extra time for all those people who don't find time to be with yourself Before you go to others, you need to fill up your cup so you have something to offer. I'm not saying that you're not impulse human with creativity and imagination, but most of us aren't that every second minute hour of the day. Some of us can have a day without a single new thought <gasps> so then we can talk about past previous experiences and knowledge and don't get caught up in that too because then you're losing your creativity if you're solemnly relying on pro processed information so when you're meditating, you're also inviting something to happen. You're inviting a higher you belonging to collective. This higher you has sent you down here to do the you up there more brilliant sometimes when we're silent before we're silent we have some thoughts we cannot solve them we're feeling that we're halting a dead end stagnation sometimes when you're silent this higher self has the answer it will take you and tell you, stop it, you're ridiculous, what are you doing? It will shake you, it will tell you that. It's so obvious, what you're doing is wrong. And this higher self, it's still learning up there too. As you're learning down here, you have forgotten some of the things, some of the skills and information when you come down into human form.
we can access that. Some of the things you're learning down here, your higher self do not know. And it thanks you for it. Sometimes, during meditation, you can allow yourself this to happen. This unison. Then you have to be silent until it speaks. And it won't speak in many sentences. It won't speak for long. What it tells you makes you speak for a long time. That's also called a meditation, but I, I don't know the name for it. I haven't heard anybody mention this, but that's what I, what I feel. I will call it what you want to call it. Counsel with your higher self. It's not totally meditation, but you slow down your brain until a halt, so it is some form of a med meditation. So concentrate your energy, stand still, sit still, and charge up on power. That is meditation, and so simply said. Now, how do I stop this?